pastor in North Minneapolis is used to making a difference from behind the pulpit, but Bishop Larry Cook says he wants to fill people with hope as they fill up their gas tanks. New at 6, WCCO's Alan Henry shows us why he decided to start serving gas on top of serving God. We definitely in it for the impact. We, we not in it because I wanted to sell gas. For almost 25 years, Bishop Larry Cook and his wife Sharon have been trying to make a positive impact on the North Minneapolis community from their church, Real Believers Faith Center. It's just been remarkable to be here and serve and see lives changed. That's, that's what we do. But it hasn't been easy. The orange and yellow dots mark all the reports of shootings or shots fired in Minneapolis over the past year. You can see the gas station next to their church is completely covered in colors. We just never would go over there. We wanted to, but it was just too much going on over there. Uh, I didn't want to be solicited for drugs. It got to the point where the shootings started to literally impact the church. So Bishop Cook confronted the drug dealers before a Bible study. If you want us to leave, you need to buy it. You don't own it. And it was just, I mean, it was very, very, very contentious. And so my husband just looked at them and said, I will buy it. Since taking over, the cooks say they've seen a difference, and they plan on using the profits from the gas station to further invest in the community and its people. Those who we can touch, um, the impact that we can have, that's exactly what we're going to do, and we're going to do it to the max. We're going to win as many souls as we can until God take us out of here. Alan Henry, WCCO, 4 News. The Cooks say they're also interested in purchasing more problem properties, including the nearby Winners Gas Station on West Broadway. That store is under investigation by the Minnesota Attorney General's Office for being a public nuisance.